Hi guys, welcome to this Microsoft Access module. In this module, we're going to look at some more forms. We're going to look at creating a tab control, how to create a lookup, and how to create an image in a form. So first of all, just recap the table of information that we're going to use, names and addresses. But you can see here, instead of a object to create a photograph, I've selected a text field and put a path in there to the photographs which are on my computer. Now, let's create a form based on that one. Form design, select table consultants, add all the fields. Now if I look at that, I just see that path there for that photo field. If I go back into design and create an image control, like so, that will open my computer Windows Explorer. So cancel that. Go back to the property sheet and set the control source for this to photo. Then have a look. You see a photograph of my pretty face. Go back. I wouldn't then need this field, so I'll delete that. And when I move through the records, there is a photo for each person. Like so. So that's how you create a photo field looking at text column in your table. And I'm going to close that one. Not saving it. Now to do a tab control, um, form design, a tab control is here. So I'm just going to draw a tab. Starts off with two. Now the fields, I need to set the properties first off. Put it back onto the form. the form data record source that's what happens when you click away so now I've got my fields so if I put the consultant ID first name and surname onto the form itself like so and then just move this control down a bit then on the first page maybe the address down to postcode move that up a little bit and then if I click on page one if I go back to properties I can put a label there um, address details and then click on to page two page two back to the fields and bring in objects so that is an embedded object, it's different for each person. And let's go into properties from the right mouse click there and just call that I'll call that documents. And now click away from that. I need another page, another tab. So I'm going to right click insert page and get another page. It says page eleven. Basically, it's counting all these boxes and all the things you've got on there. But if I go back to my existing fields and bring um, pen picture, which is just a written description of somebody, call that pen picture, like so. Click away from that one. Right click again. Uh, insert another one. This time, I shall bring on to their video, make that a bit bigger, there's an embedded video in there, um, properties, call that video, and so on. <clears throat> and now I just want to also show you that you can embed other tables. So this is a related database, 
project is related to consultants so I can bring in a sub form or report and the same process will apply as before should start the wizard now I've already got the form there so I, I don't need to go through the wizard again but do, I will do for this example so I'll follow it through select the table that you require bring all the fields across follow it through picks up the link follow it through it's going to repeat that it's just put a one after it so just finish there so then again you would have to make this fit so this would need to be elongated but then that would be click on there that caption would be projects projects and if I have a look at this quickly you see there you've got different tabs displaying different information and if I go back and do the same little feature as I did before maybe I need to move this down a little bit if I put an image control for the photo field let's cancel this box off and properties control sources photo have a look again move through the records you see everything coming in as we so wish the last thing I would like to show you is a lookup field where we can select a record based on in this case the name from this combo box so uh, first of all draw the combo box these are the lookup options that you would have at a table normally I would do them at the table level they would then come through to the form but this one find a record follow it through next I want surname first followed by first name and then next picks up the uh, unique identifier so that's the list that will appear follow it next call it find name and finish and then have a look at that one so now if I select there's a list of all the names there's Carol Manton and it's a picture of my father John Reed and so on and so on okay but some of the pictures are just family members it's not really representing the names but you get the idea lookup list shows that particular record back into design just a quick recap that's the tab control that's the image control and that's a combo box looking at find so that's the end of this session i hope you enjoyed it and thank you for your time and i'll see you on the next session